My nephews gave me a bunch of cars. I don't know, maybe a couple hundred, I don't know. And a, a bin and a box and a bag. Just a bunch of stuff. And this is one of the pieces. It's a cool little car. Looks like maybe a Challenger. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a GTO it looks like. Uh, it's kind of like this tuned version. It looks like a Pontiac front end. Uh, GTO or maybe a, maybe a Grand Prix. Anyways, it's missing a motor here. It's got just a big gaping hole. So I think I'm just going to mount a big motor there. Make it look really ridiculous. Do something cool for gas lands. See what I come up with. Glued the motor on, glued the little gun on the side. It's kind of a big, massively oversized weapon on the side, kind of like the motor. Um, I'll take some of this green mesh material, make some, uh, just some covers for the windows. We'll do something simple with it. This is, honestly, this is just window screen that I had left over. Um, I was working on something today for my daughter. Uh, she has a terrarium for a... Uh, leopard gecko we got her for Christmas so I was rescreening the top we have cats and the cats would sit on it and mess it up so I rescreened it today and I have some leftover material so I just want to kind of put some pieces on wherever I can make it look like a nice wire mesh we'll see how this goes over in a moment here so I think that will hold hopefully pretty well we'll see here I haven't done gas lands in a little bit so I'm Gaslands car with this piece. I think it'll turn out interesting. Just something, something a little different. Uh, it's a very cool little car here. Cut the corner off here. It's a tiny little window if you can see that. So let's see if I get this in there. Probably right here. Let's glue that down. I have this little set of hole punches that you guys may have seen before. And uh, this hole punch would give me a nice little tiny rivet, you know. Like I've said before, this is a, a technique I learned from somebody else online. Possibly bill making stuff. There's little tiny rivets. See, it just makes these little tiny holes. And if everything goes right, they'll all be trapped inside. And I can pour them out and have some little rivets. Let's put a little... I'll rip it on here. Let's see what we got. And you'll see a lot of people will like to stick their stick them with their knives, you know, just so you don't have to put your finger in the glue. Those little tiny pieces of paper are so small. You just kind of stab it. Hopefully, stab it. Put it in place there. Little rivets do look like rivets when they're done. We'll see here. I got a lot of glue on my finger just now. Ah, oh, dang it. Pulled off my mesh. Put my finger in the on the window there. here with the knife so I don't keep getting glue all over my fingers. If that glues down, it sticks, it'll be pretty good. There we go. What else I want to add to this thing? <clears throat> From all my kids. I got these little pieces uh, from a hairbrush that I've used as pipes before. Um, you know, I've got this dog that likes to chew up hairbrushes when they're left lying around. So it leaves me some bits. 
Let's see. I wonder if I want to put the blue down and that piece up or put this piece underneath. I can probably do some wild looking little pipes there, you know, just kind of glue them underneath. Hopefully get them in a position where they look kind of cool. I think it'd be better like this, personally. Um, so let's see how this glues under there. So I'm going to use this like this. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see, it's got glue to my table instead of under the car. Okay. So at least I'll have some crazy looking pipes, you know. These index cards, you know, a nice thin piece. If I cut like a strip off of this, that's really thin. I might be able to put it on like a belt. I'd have to get this like this. Okay, that's probably good enough. Let's we'll see, that looks all right. All right, I got a belt on it. I've got my pipes coming up the side. Maybe not the best looking pipes. Once they're painted, I think they'll look cool. Look at that. It almost looks like a, maybe a fuel tank. I don't know what this, like maybe a piece of, I don't know, came off a cable maybe? Look, SCE, so Southern California Edison. Again, as I point out far too often, there's a piece of plastic I found on the ground. Let's see if I can cut this piece off kind of nicely. We'll glue it down on the back of that vehicle. It's a, maybe some sort of fuel tank. I think that piece will glue right down in that seam there. And it should hold pretty well. So let's do that. That kind of looks cool. As you may be able to deduce, I came down with the Rona. And that's been a lot of fun for a few days for me. So, um, hopefully you'll see a little more, a little more of me now. There's a couple bad days with fevers and whatnot, but it's gotten a little better. It's not so bad now. You know, things are looking up. I'm just going to paint some pieces up. I'm going to paint the, the fuel tank that I have on the back. I'm going to add some black to it. I'm going to add some black to the motor. Then we're going to add some color to the guns in the motor. We're going to do some uh, dry brushing in a bit here. I just want to add some black. This all, as usual, you know, some cheap brush paints. Nothing crazy. I'm probably going too soon on this because the Glue probably hasn't dried yet, but we'll get something on here. I'm going to use my crappy brushes. I'm not too concerned. This is not one of my better brushes, so if I get glue in the bristles and it doesn't seem to work very well, it's not going to upset me too much. You can see the bristles are already messing up. That glue can be really bad, so make sure if you're ever brushing like too soon, you're too impatient like me. Make sure you use a brush that you don't care too much about. This is craft smart stuff. And this stuff, um, it lays on pretty well. It gives you a nice foundation. I need to shake it up a little bit. Make sure it's not too thick and solid, because sometimes it is when it comes out. But this stuff, as cheap as this paint is, it's definitely one of my favorites. As far as the black goes. Um, the other colors I don't seem to, I don't think work as well. But this black is... Pretty phenomenal for laying down a base coat. I'm just going to put on a little bit. I don't need it perfectly covering. i probably cover it too much as it is. I want it to look like a, you know, like, like, it's, like it's been on there for a bit. So let's get some silver or some gray. Go over these pieces, you know, the metal. It's going to be, I'll get some rust afterward. We'll do, we'll deal with that as well. You see those rivets are starting to show up. I don't know if they're going to show up as well on camera as they do in person, but we'll see. We'll see how this does. What I'm going to do, I'm going to dry this brush really good. I'm going to do some dry brushing around the edges with some brown, just in certain spots where I'm going to add some rust, dirt, whatnot, you know. And I just put some here and there, you know. And this, you, do, you don't have to be perfect. Just kind of dabble a little on here and there, you know. Make it look like some rust. Especially on the quarter panels. This looks like maybe some pieces here. Even on this part that we kind of colored. Some 
silver there. There's some rust on it. It's got a little rust even on our fuel tank. I saw an old bug today that was pretty weathered near me. And I looked at the rust. It's funny how you begin looking at that sort of stuff now. You're like, oh, look how the rust lays on the top of that fender. And I said it was an old bug, so I was on the fender. You you kind of see how rust might might stay in a pattern someplace, you know, in certain areas, tops of fenders where the where it's weathered. I'll do it here on this screen. Get it all pretty nasty looking. A little more silver here. We'll, we'll add a little, just a little bit on the pipes, not much. The pipes are pretty, pretty gnarly looking, maybe. So we don't need these wheels so pretty. I don't know if you see how clean these wheels are. Let's kind of groove them up a little bit, you know. Where this thing's, this thing's seen, you know, seen some miles in the dirt. This wheel's pretty thrashed. So like I said, this is one of the, many cars my nephews gave me. I wanted to go through and do a video on what they gave me. It was just really cool of them. You know, they're older now, so they're not doing gas ads or modifications with anything yet. So, some of this stuff, you know, they just gave it to me. They're just like, hey, yeah, here's a bunch of cars. I made sure they kept whatever, um, you know, they had some red lines. I made sure they kept some of the valuable ones and whatever they wanted. But there's things like thrash like this, you know, figure if they didn't want them I'll take them and I'll turn them into a wastelands vehicle but we're gonna see what we can do just do the top ones white here see if we can paint these little tiny ones yeah I think it's a GTO but I'm not 100% let's see if I can just get a little bit of orange and some of the rust spots now Finish too, pretty gnarly. We'll get some orange on this side. Be, oh, be real careful here with the. Besides, open the camera with the paintbrush here. Just try to get little tiny spots. I don't want to look too much like a pattern, you know. So, trying to get some of the, with the light. Try to touch it lightly and get some of the little spots here and there. And we'll get some more silver and add it to it. There we go. All right. Now we'll call it done. And you guys can see what I got here. I'll get some good shots here. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you guys are making some Gaslands cars this year as well. Okay, we'll try that again. I hope you guys are making some Gaslands cars as well. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you can goof off. A lot of times you can use pieces you found. I... I've been 3D printing a lot of parts, but I use a little bit of a mix of both. Um, you don't have to even go this far. It's simple to find little things that you can use as guns or pipes or whatever. Just have fun with it. Use some cheap paints. That's all I use. There's nothing really expensive about what I do here. Anyways, please like and subscribe. Continue to watch, and I appreciate it. Thanks.